Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a, another subscription box. Um, this is my monthly box that I get from Beacon Box. Um, so I just got this in the mail, so I figured let's go ahead and open this together. I'm quite excited to see what they've packed for us this month. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. box up we have this and that and then there you go you guys can see all of that there so uh, let me find my sheet oh here it is so, okay so this is October's box this is called uh, duty calls like this um okay so Starting with the first item, which is in this packaging. So loud. Okay, so this is inspired by the Lunar Chronicles, and it is a scarf, which is designed by Simon Cohen. I hope I pronounced the name right. Um, so it's this big scarf, and it's got some robots on it crowns, rocks I guess, some hands, I guess that's the moon, so yeah, I mean it's a pretty wide big scarf, um, I think it would probably look kind of cool, you know, wrapped around you, whatever, for winter, so it's not like it's a thick scarf or anything, but it would definitely go ahead and keep you a little bit warm, especially for like the fall season that's currently upon us. So this is really, really cute. I like that. I have not read the book or books, so I don't know. You guys can tell me what they're like, and then maybe if I like your descriptions and comments about them, I'd be more than happy to go ahead and order them. Um, the next thing we have is called Stalking Jack the Ripper, Investigations in Whitechapel, and... Fog, chai tea, and crackling fire is the scent of this one. So it's just a blue candle. And then this is the top, which you know I'll take a picture. So this way here you guys can see what it actually looks like. Mm, I smell the chai tea. It smells, it smells really good. Like I totally would go ahead and light this and burn this all day long. That smells really good. Okay. The next thing that we have is coffee. Ooh. So children of the children of blood and bone. Zelly's magical magical fuel. Zelly's magic fuel. Okay. Um, so it's a medium roast coffee, and this coffee is by Caribbean Brew Premium High 18 Coffee. I'm not quite sure. Um, so here is the packaging, and I love coffee, so I'm definitely going to use this. I love coffee and tea. I do both. I am not picky. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I am. Hold on. I didn't want to come apart with those little pull tabs. Just kind of want to smell it and see if there's like a... Ooh. No, it just smells like regular, like medium roast, like a Colombian roast. I was wondering if it was going to have like hints of anything else um, within it, so I might brew that up tomorrow morning and have that in my coffee mug. Okay, the next thing that we have is the Illuminati Files Inspired Ornament. So this says, live a life worth dying for, in this blue box, and then the ornament is the same that's inside, and of course you guys know, I'll go ahead and pop a picture for this too. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it's nice and detailed, just like all the other ornaments that we've gotten. Um, I am quite excited to go ahead and like pop these all up. So 
yeah, that's really, really pretty. I like that. Okay, and then the next thing it says we have before we get to this, let me get these other cards out. So we have duty before self, kingdom before king on this card. And then on the back we have the baking with the beacons. And this is Trez Leach's milk cake. So that sounds good. I'll go ahead and take a picture and also kind of post it up there. Um, but it gives you all of your ingredients and it gives you all of the instructions that you're going to need to go ahead and bake this cake. So we have this. Then we also have the girl and the dragonfly available now on Amazon. The profits will be donated to the American Liver Foundation and it's a debut for the author Raven Lowry. So um, here is that. And then on the back it says every purchase of the girl and the dragonfly will help me raise money for the American Liver Foundation in honor of my mom who has been fighting non-alcoholic liver disease for over 15 years. My mom is a fighter and has shown amazing strength over the years battling this disease. I created a team in curable strength to walk for my mom in a yearly liver life walks. However, the walk has been canceled this year due to COVID, which is so sad. So I decided to write my first children's book and as a way to raise money for the American Liver Foundation and surprise my mom by releasing a book for her on her birthday this year. Oh, how adorable is that? Okay, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and go pick up a, a copy of this book. Um, I mean, I have a younger child, so we could definitely go ahead and read this for like a bedtime story. And why not? It helps a good cause. So anytime that you guys have the ability to whether donate or for this, you buy a book and the donations then go, you know, for this wonderful charitable charity that that's it's very touching so that's awesome I'll have to go ahead and pick that up and then last but not least we have a code for 25% off an ebook for a villain or 25% off code um, print for hero I guess Cortex and V match on a hero and villain pairing site. They throw punches behind coffee shops, but don't expect to fall in love. Interesting. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take a picture of this for you guys as well. Um, I'll have to go check that out. I'm, I'm not really sure what to make of that. Um, but last but not least, let's go ahead and get into this fabulous item. So we did get a book sleeve this month, and it is called the Spooky Book Sleeve. So we have haunted houses, we have black crows, feathers, pumpkins, skulls with witch hats on. I mean, could you say more? Oh, we even have spiders and like creepy trees. Fabulous. I love this. I'll take a picture for you guys so that you guys can see this wonderful, wonderful case. Uh, it's super, super soft. And then of course, inside of the book sleeve is our book for this month. So this month's book is called... Crown Chasers by Rebecca Coffin Draver, Draffer, Daffer, Coffin Draffer, Daffer, I'm going to butcher the name, but here is the book, and then of course it says, um, they can make the rules, but they can't make her follow them, ooh, okay, and it's got like some kind of a sci-fi looking you know, I'm going to have a picture, so. <laughs> um, but the book is black with some silver foiling on the spine. No reversible dust jacket. But it does say, so this book uh, is Alyssa Fairshot has spent her whole life trying to outrun her family and legacy. Her mother sacrificed everything to bring peace to the galaxy and her uncle has successfully ruled as an empire for decades. The last thing Alyssa wants is to follow in her footsteps as the next in line for the throne. Why would she choose to be trapped in a palace when she could be having a wild adventure exploring a thousand and one planets on her own ship? 
but when Alyssa's uncle becomes gravely ill, his dying wish surprises everyone. Instead of naming her as his successor, he calls on for a crown chase. The first and seventh centuries, representatives from each prime families, including Alyssa, are thrown into a race to find the royal seal, which has been hidden somewhere in the empire. The first to find the seal wins the throne. Alyssa's experience as an explorer makes her the favorite to win the crown she never wanted, and though she doesn't want to be empress, her duty to her uncle compels her to participate and preserve his legacy. But when the chase turns deadly, it's clear that more than just the fate of the empire is at stake. Alyssa is on her most important quest yet, and only time will tell if she'll survive it. Ooh. <laughs> That sounds really, really interesting. So I'm quite excited to go ahead and read this as well. Um, and then I also went ahead and picked up a separate book. Um, this came out a couple, I want to say a couple months ago, um, and I've been wanting to snag it, and it's called The Kingdom of Back. So if you guys are familiar with this book or have read it, um, don't give me any spoilers, but just let me know what you guys thought of this book. Um, I'm quite excited about this. It says, I'm the, I'm the sister, the other Mozart, and her story is mine. So it's really, really beautiful. And then on the inside cover, you get like this storyline, or I think this is about the family. So you get to see like where they travel and everything. And then on the reverse side is a map of the kingdom of back, which is just, amazing. I love books like this that give you like little tidbits. Um, but this one says, born with a gift for music. Um, I'm just going to call her Miss Mozart because I'm not sure how to pronounce her first name and I'm going to butcher it. Has just one wish to be remembered forever. But even as she de delights audiences with her masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become an acclaimed composer she longs to be. She is a young woman in the 18th century of Europe, and that means composing is forbidden. She will perform only until she reaches a meritable age, and then her father has, has made that much clear. As her hopes grow dimmer with each passing year, the talents of her beloved younger brother, Wolfgang, only seem to shine brighter. His brilliance begins to eclipse her own until one day, a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an interest with an irresistible offer. He has the power to make her wishes come true, but his help may cost her everything. So, I can't wait to read this one too. I'm super duper excited. Um, let me know what you guys think of both of these books. Uh, which one would you read first? And then also let me know what you thought of the overall box. So we've got the book, we've got a slip cover, we got our ornament, we have a candle, some coffee, um, a scarf, and then of course our little extras and everything. So I'm really excited for these two books. I can't wait to go ahead and read them. And um, you know, let me know what you guys thought of this box overall. Uh, I can't wait to hear from you guys. And I have um, another box coming. Um, I think Al Crate just sent me um, an email stating that their October box is on its way. So that box, I believe, is Legends and Lore. So let me know, but um, I'll have that for you shortly as soon as it comes. And there goes my cat again going, it's time to get off the camera. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.